In this episode, I escape to a diving hideaway, take to the skies to go hunting for sharks, and explore the underwater world at night. My name is Bertie, and this is Borneo from Below. Kinabalu is often billed as one of the only capitals in the world where you can get from the airport to scuba diving in less than an hour. So that's my challenge today. Let's see how quickly I can do it. Seven forty. Okay, we're doing well. As the capital of Sabah, KK is a jumping off point for some of Borneo's best attractions. But unbeknown to many, there's a few gems right next to one of Borneo's biggest cities. And this is one of them. I'm diving in the Tunku Abdul Rahman Marine Park. Despite lying right next to the city and its 400,000 inhabitants, it feels like a world away when you're down here. With a nice mix of hard and soft corals, whale sharks at the right time of year, and some crazy macro critters, TARP is certainly one of the more underrated marine parks in Borneo. After the dive, it was time to check into an independent dive centre based within the park. Established in 1997, Dive Down Below was set up by Platinum Paddy course director Richard Swan. So why KK? Why not Sipadan, for example? I think the accessibility of diving in this area is uh, a tremendous advantage. Um, you can be getting off of a plane and, and diving within the hour, you know, and, and that's a very unusual thing in the diving industry. KK, TARP and some of the dive sites around the TARP area um, are very underrated. Got some excellent corals, great macro life. Excuse me mate, you're in my way. And I think any avid diver would thoroughly enjoy diving here. Now, all of our BFB fans are absolutely shark crazy. Oh, aren't we all? Uh, yes, aren't we all? Any here? We do have black tip reef sharks here. We've got a small nursery area nearby. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll be able to take you there, show you some juvenile black tip reef sharks, and also maybe an adult as well. Richard, you had me at sharks. Let's go. All right. <laughs> Black tip reef sharks are one of the smallest species of shark. They get their name from, well, the black tips on their fins. They're social animals found in groups at shallow depths, so hopefully we'll see some today. Now, contrary to what the media would lead us to believe, most sharks are actually very shy, so spotting a black tip underwater is going to be tricky. So to aid us in our quest, we roped in a crack team of shark spotters. First up, we've got the eyes. Instructor Cindy, four years in the biz and with a powerful set of peepers. 
Next, the brains. Dive down below boss, Richard Swan. He knows this spot better than any and reckons he can find even the most bashful of black tips. Our eyes in the sky will be drone pilots Lou and Yaku. Hopefully this way we'll be able to see the sharks before they can see us. Let's see what we can find. Hiding close to the shore, this area is great for juvenile sharks. Unlike their white tip cousins, black tips don't dawdle. So if we want to get close, we've got to be fast. Sure enough, these elusive elasmobranchs were no match for our crack team of shark seekers. Starting over the reef were a handful of baby black tips. Their streamlined bodies allow them to bolt with a flick of their tail fin. There you go, BFB viewers. Once again, the team has delivered. This was mainly down to my crack team of experts <laughs> here. Well done, guys. Yes, nicely done. Everyone played their part there. <clears throat> Woohoo! Nicely All done. Right. After a successful shark dive, we headed back to dive down below. However, our day was far from done. Like many sharks, black tips are nocturnal predators. So for one last shot, we were going night diving. Night diving time. Woohoo! And then the Borneo from below team headed to the depths of the ocean in search of some of the planet's weirdest animals. Now night diving isn't for the faint of heart. Without sunlight, it's very easy to get disorientated, lost, or bump into something painful or poisonous. But if you can brave the darkness, night diving provides a whole new perspective, as many animals that you'd never see during the day come out to play in the twilight hours. Whilst we didn't spot any more sharks, there was still a whole host of weird and wacky watery inhabitants to enjoy. That's lovely. I don't even know what half of those animals were. Like a couple of those nudie banks. What even were they? Oh, what a nice day. Big schools of fish, lots of coral, weird animals on night dives, and best of all, only an hour's drive from the airport. The Borneo from below team have landed. How do you want me to do it? Uh, Sorry.